welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called this, you may ask? So I tell you, the Associate Mean of Angels Messenger and the Associate Mean of Destiny is to make firm establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also, I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, in a moment, I'll introduce you to my wonderful guest, beloved. But before that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching this show live at a later date, as it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. Now, if you've never met before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women to crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, and transform the present, so they can take charge of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use future life progression, past life regression, angelic Reiki, angel oracle cards, guided meditation, and hypnosis to help women who feel lost get clear on their reason for being here. And I've also created several transformational packages, a journey through lifetimes, as well as a six-week guided meditation series to help you take charge of your destiny. Now, each episode of the show covers various themes of your journey, a mini guided meditation or angel card reading with the wisdom of my wonderful guests, like today's guest, Beloved, about how we can create our most delicious life. Now, our own Beloved has been helping women like you awaken and create deliciously abundant lives for more than 30 years, long before the secret or law of attraction became mainstream. Now, working in partnership with her primary guide, Archangel Ariel, the angel of prosperity, abundance and nature. Now, after a husband of many years left this planet, Beloved started on a journey that has led her to create her own delicious life by traveling, leading workshops and events, becoming an artist, a writer. Her third book was released last year, as well as a new musician who enjoys deep and abiding loves. Now, using coaching, soul codes, angel oracle cards, tarot ceremony, channeling, light language, sound, art books, and so much more, we love to connect with many beings of light and love who assist her in empowering you to live your most abundant, fun-filled, full life, full mm -hmm. of unconditional love. Now, with testimonials such as Spirit brought Beloved into my life almost 10 years ago. At our first meeting, she guided me on my spiritual journey by gently offering insight into what I was experiencing with auras. As time went on, I was touched by the teachings of Ariel and my spiritual horizon was forever changed. I no longer looked at the realm as three-dimensional. And I remember the first time I heard Beloved's crystal bowls and her toning. The vibration, the sound, the energy of the bowls and the intuitive way Beloved is letting them sing is simply beautiful and I'd never experienced anything like it. And Beloved is a quintessential mystic. She is both ethereal and centred. An author and musician with a special relationship with the angelic realm, she channels guidance and communes with galactic beings, angels, fairies and dolphins. A crystal bowl master, she can bring you to tears with the haunting sounds and vibration that emanate from beneath her fingers, touching your, shot, touching your soul. As a participant in her classes, retreats or personal consultation, you are treated to a space of joy, non-judgment, acceptance, playfulness and compassion. So without further delay, hello beloved and welcome to the Angels and Destiny show. How are you today? Wow, I'm listening to that and I'm thinking, oh, this woman must be pretty, pretty neat. <laughs> Where in the world did you find all that? <laughs> That's humbling. That's humbling. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me here. Oh, you're, you're welcome. So before we get into this fascinating conversation, I want yeah. to remind you that not only can you share this video, but you can also ask questions, leave comments and thoughts as both Beloved and I want to be part of this conversation. So please do not be shy. So, beloved, why don't you tell us more about your journey and how we can create our most delicious life to bring joy and abundance into it? Oh, my gosh. My thing, my whole life has been about joy. And it's been, I've just lived a charmed life. It's been absolutely delightful. And um, it's funny, when I was a kid, my parents thought I was a hypochondriac because I would have symptoms of things. I've never been sick really, but I would have symptoms. And it wasn't until I was 18 years old and home on a break from the university, I was asleep in bed at night and someone close to my parents had been quite ill with the stroke in the hospital. And I woke up in the middle of the night and 
I was going through these hard, hard symptoms. I felt like I was going to die. And then all of a sudden I knew that I was going to be fine. And I knew it was their friend. That was the first time that I knew that it wasn't me. And it was the first time that I understood that I had, um, that I did healing work. So there was that. And then as a kid, I was always so, so nutty, did a lot of dream work, a lot of reading candles, things like that. My mother used to say, where did you come from? You know, <laughs> where did you come from? But I never, I never even thought about angels. I never thought about angels. So that happened a little bit later. It was so, so nice. My, my mother-in-law came to visit and she arrived. She used to stay in the hotel and come to, I'm in Florida right now. And she would come for the winter to get out of the cold. And she came down one winter and we lived on the beach. And we got a phone call from, from ICU that my mother-in-law was there and she'd had a major heart attack and she's fine. She was absolutely fine. They did bypasses. But my husband and I would take turns coming to visit her and staying with her in the hotel. And when she totally recovered, she took a, a strand of crystals out. Oh, they're over there on that altar. And she said, you know, when I came to Florida this time, I went to the bank, I went to the vault, and I, I brought these. I don't know why. I've never worn them. I bought them in an antique shop years ago, but I think they're for you. So she gave them to me, and I knew it was really special. I took them into a friend that owned a, a shop, and I said, here, tell me about these. And she closed her eyes and she opened them and she said, what do you know about angels? And I said, nothing, you know? I believe we all have a guardian angel and I know that angels are another order of being, that we don't die and become angels, but I don't know. And she closed her eyes and she said, the angels have returned these to you these were you, yours in another time, and they are protection for you, so keep them with you. So that was the beginning of angels for me. I've always had a really, really strong daily practice. Meditate, yoga, journaling. I've always, always done that. And I was a long time yoga teacher, Qigong um, teacher, all of that, meditation teacher. I had a clinical practice in, in clinical hypnotherapy for years and years and years. My husband and I did a lot of things together. We co-taught at the university, philosophy, religion, and um, we did radio together, like call-in talk shows. We did it together. And I was also the engineer. It was really fun playing with all that stuff. And um, my husband left Planet unexpectedly between semesters on a three-week break. And there I was. You know, just me. I had begun working with the angels, but now not only was he my partner, but professionally we were tied together. So I quit everything. I closed my practice. I quit teaching all of my private students. I quit teaching at all the studios I was teaching in. I said, I just need time yes. to see who I am and what my life will look like. All of our kids were grown, married. It's the first time I'd ever been alone in my entire life. 
because I went, you know, from my parents' home to university, to marriage, to children, to, to being alone. And I realized what was the tie for me, what the thread was, was my daily practice. And by then, I had met Ariel. Archangel Ariel is the angel of prosperity, abundance, nature, intuition, and a bit of magic. And I actually met Ariel for the first time in a workshop that my sister-in-law gifted me. It was an um, a Michael Wiley, I think, workshop, Ask Your Angels. I hadn't read the book, didn't know anything about it. I had my crystals by then, but I didn't know anything else. So I go to this workshop and during one of the exercises, Ariel came in. It was really, really powerful, really powerful. And I have learned when I hear things three times, I'm pretty stubborn. Like in the beginning, I at 4.30 in the morning, I heard get up and go to the window. I said, yeah, I'm not getting up and going to any window. Get up and go to the window. I said, I'm not getting up and going to any window. The third time I got up, I went to the window. I looked out, it was nothing. I went back to bed. A couple of nights later, get up and go to the computer. I said, are you crazy? I'm not getting up and going to any computer. The third time I got up, I go to the computer. I'm half asleep. They say, turn it on. I turn it on. Put your keys on the key, your hands on the keyboard. I put my hands on the keyboard. And all of a sudden it started. And that was when Ariel and I really, really began our work together. They would just give me stuff, give me stuff, give me stuff. So since my husband left planet and I've been working with Ariel, like you said in the beginning, everything has opened up. I travel the world by myself. I mean, I go off to China, climb mountains. I walk the plank. Do you know what that is? It's a board about this big on the outside of Mount Washon, on the outside, like 6,000 feet up. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's been such a glorious, 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 glorious time. Did my own radio shows for a long time, became an artist, um, and started doing all of the angel work and teaching all of the abundance because life is meant to be abundant. I mean, think about it. We're not this. We just chose to come in and have a life on Earth because Earth is one of the few planets that we can experience deliciousness in a physical body. Like we can experience tastes. We can experience textures. You know, I mean, just, just feel like today I'm wearing this, it's chilly here, right? So I have on this little sweater, it's fun. But I, you know, textures, taste, we can share our bodies and know the intimacy of merging, having sacred union with another being. We can exercise, we can move, we can run, we can walk, we can dance all the things that we need these bodies to do. But for some reason, when we come in, so many of us forget. Yeah. We forget who we are. And we forget that we're supposed to live beautiful, abundant lives of vibrant health and blissful love and joy and, and play. I am such a play girl. I even call my my workshops play shops, you know? Yeah. So we were meant to do that. That's who we are. And working with the angels, working with Ariel 
has been so beautiful at being able to take people into their their knowing who they are they are they're remembering and we do it through angel moon manifesting so that we're we're still cosmic beings yeah you know we're not earthlings we like to say oh yeah i'm an earthling I think, no, no, yeah. no. not only are we divine but we're water beings right and we're crystal and we we run the two sacred cosmic grids through our bodies you know they come in through through gaia mother earth and that's the the sacred water grid which is our fluids and i work with the waters i've been working with the waters for 10 years and they transmit codes they are activating the waters activate us and we activate the waters we share a spiritual dna and the other cosmic code the other grid is the sacred crystal grid and we run that through our bones so we are crystal we are water we are magnificent magnificent beings you know divine beings and we're connected to all the other realms only only some of us some part of us is in here so it's about being joyful it's about enjoying the yumminess it's about enjoying the deliciousness and understanding that we are masterful co-creators and when we understand that and when we work with the angels and and we come into energetic coherence with the cosmic energies with the lunar energies it's all there for us yeah, it, yeah it's 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 so amazing i mean just listening to you to you talking you know it's it's like you can, you can literally see the light come coming coming off you you know and oh you're you're God. just and you, and you just look you just look so glowing and healthy and oh it's God. like wow you, you know and that's working with angels that's enjoying life you know be be you know be being who 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 you want to be you know and wow. malik malik here has said happy valentine's day to us um, i know <laughs> i know it's not beautiful and mary says evening all which is which is lovely and don't forget if you're watching you know please do say hello um if you've got any questions or anything um you know then please feel free uh to to ask um, and you never know, we might be able to persuade your love to actually do something, code, number code for us or something. Ooh. <laughs> I, that I would love that. I would love that. So how do you... Um, I mean, I, I, I mean, you do so much. You, you've learned so much over, over the years. You know, it's just absolutely amazing, you know. When you're working with clients, how do you kind of like know what to use with them? I trust, you know, first of all, we connect soul to soul. They call in their angels, their guides. I call in mine, Ariel's there. And we see what comes up and what's needed. You know, because there's so many different tools. Like you have so many tools in your toolbox, you know, but certain certain things will resonate with certain clients. You know, sometimes it's it's using the voice, sometimes it's singing, it's toning, it's you know, playing playing bowls. But you know, when you're in that space with another being and you are in that soul space it unfolds it just unfolds whatever it is supposed to be and sometimes people will think 
that we're setting up a reading or a soul chart doing soul codes. Yeah, but when we get together, something totally different can happen because it's being in the moment and it's whatever is needed in the moment that will, you know, that will help someone take the next step. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and, it, and, it, and, it tr and it truly is. Yeah, you know, when yeah. I've had, had people come to me, say, for past life, we've actually gone future life or future life, we've gone past life or we've done angelic Reiki, you know, we've done something completely different because that's what that's what's happened to you know that's what we've been guided to do at the time um because we have we have no control over it you know so as you said you got told three times go and do something <laughs> and then they do you know they're very gentle you know they're very gentle beings but they can be really insistent oh they are so insistent with me you know when ariel first came in and we started writing they end everything with um and transmission we are we are complete and transmission and i remember saying yeah you sound like a dang trekkie you want to tell me you're an angel and then one day i asked him i said so so what's the difference between et's and angels and they looked at me and said what difference right what difference is there yeah. You know, it's it's y'all that that give us um, a a form. You're the ones that give us names. You know, so we can relate. So that's how you know that's how we come. But it was oh my god, they I would do sessions, and afterwards Ariel would say, "Why didn't you say our words?" And I would say, I, I didn't understand. They said, oh, you understood. You didn't know what it meant. And you didn't want to be wrong. And it was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe that's true. You know, maybe that's true. They do take, you know, angels are not, in my experience, and everything I say, of course, is from my own experience. One thing I learned early on, and I've been doing this work for 40 plus years. I've, I've been doing spiritual teachings in one form or another since my 20s. So I could say 50 years, but shh. I didn't right. say that. You didn't, didn't say um, that. And, and looking I at you, you would I, I, you I didn't would say know. that. <laughs> but, but you know when when you when you are here and you're doing the work i get taken to task a lot i mean a lot because my hardest thing i don't know if this is true for you and i don't know about those of you that that are watching and i, I would like to know this because my biggest thing my biggest hurdle was trust that was so big for me how do i trust you know i've worked with fairy the fairy realm my whole life i've worked with galactics my whole life i hadn't worked with angels so how do i trust the messages that I'm getting. And early on, they asked me to give up everything else that I did and do everything through angels. And at that point, I was doing pipe ceremonies, um, uh, moon ceremonies. I mean, I was doing so much. And I said, everything? You want me to give up everything I know? They said, we're inviting you to, it's your choice. And of course I did. And once I committed, it's just been incredible. And they only want good for people. They only want each of us to live the most joyful and abundant life and to manifest our dreams. 
here's the thing. None of these guides and teachers that we have from the unseen realms, whether it's angels, and I know you know this, whether it's angels, galactic brothers and sisters, um, uh, fairy realm, ascended masters, none of them, because we chose to incarnate on a planet with free will, none of them can guide us unless we ask. And that's one thing that so many people aren't aware of. Like I, I invite people every morning when you get up, when you're coming back from dream time and you're back in your body and you're back in this realm, I invite you when you open your eyes to say, good morning. Thank you, everyone. I'm so happy to be back. And I am consciously connecting to my angels, my guides, my teachers from the unseen realms. Please play with me. Guide me. Partner with me. I am open to receive. And that's it. Like every morning I have an altar by my door and every morning I go, I stand there, I reconnect to everyone, I light my candle, my sage, I smudge my door so anyone that walks through that front door comes with an open and loving heart that they receive whatever they need, that they're beautifully pleasant, happy. It's such a small thing to do, but it really, it's all about energetic alignment. And, and I believe, and what Ariel has taught me is being in energetic alignment if you want to create and manifest which is one reason that sometimes law of attraction doesn't work for people. We cannot, okay, think of it this way. If I have a thought, it goes out and it connects, connects to another thought that's of like vibration and it grows and then it gathers more and if I speak it I always invite people to to say things out loud because we give it life right yeah well when we do that that goes out and collects like vibration these things are real this is not maybe it is, maybe it isn't. This is the way energetics works. So sometimes when people don't, don't manifest what they are dreaming, it's because they're not there yet. They don't have that energetic signature. So they need to do like a half step, you know, do something that's closer to where they are now, not where they want to be, if that makes any sense. So Ariel and I work, all of our angel moon alchemy manifesting teachings are all about energetic coherence, because that's how you create. That's how you manifest. It's, I mean, look at the people that get out of a relationship and they, they just want out, right? Just get me out, wasn't working for me, didn't resonate, I'm not happy. And then what happens? They meet the next person. Oh my God, this is so great. I'm so happy, this is so wonderful. And that relationship, the same relationship that they had just left. And that can go over and over and over. Why? Because that is their energetic 
signature in that moment. They can change that. But until you become aware of it, like our teachings have three pillars, attunement, alignment, and integration. So once you're aware, that's the beginning. It's like, oh yeah, this relationship's not working for me. Let me see what is. Right? Let me see what, I, this is Valentine's Day. For those of you in relationships, I invite you to write down all of the things you love about that relationship. You know, give gratitude. What are you grateful for in that relationship? And you know, just doing that and offering that gratitude can really spark an up-leveling of that relationship. And if you're not in a relationship and you want to be, I invite you to do the same thing. Write down the things that bring you so much joy when you are in a relationship. You know, what is that? What is it that, that sparks your heart, ignites your heart, ignites your joy? And that, that helps bring you to the vibration that you want is by doing that and just looking at that every day and just speaking it out loud like oh my god when i'm in a relationship i'm so bloody happy when we can really talk we can look into each other's eyes and i love the fact that i can be open i don't have to hide things i love the fact that that when we wake up in the morning it's such a joy to know that that this person is there and I can just open my eyes and look on that side of the bed and oh my gosh, I'm so bloody happy. And I'm so bloody happy knowing that, that I can go off and do things by myself and it's perfectly fine because that helps fill me up. I love the fact that when I'm in a relationship, my partner's not a helicopter partner that my partner is confident and happy and can do things on his or her own also. And then when, when we're back together, it's just so, so fun because we're exploring new things and sharing new things. That helps raise the vibration, right? The other thing that helps raise the vibration if you're looking for a relationship on Valentine's Day is to set your home for two, you know? Set two places at the table. Have two chalices. Make sure that the other side of your bed is not cluttered. Make room, make room in your closet for another person. You know, make room. Talk to that person. Right? I'm so happy that you're on the way. I can't wait. All the joy we're going to have together. Oh my God, we're going to travel together. We're going to go to Glastonbury. We're going to go to Paris. We're going to walk on the beach. I can see it now. I can feel you. These things are not crazy. These are how you shift energy. It's how you shift energy. Wonderful. And just even just listening to you, it's kind of like you could feel the vibration just sort of like, wow, it's like, and it's so simple. So yes. really, really simple. It's not complicated. It's just something that is so simple that anyone can do. It's so simple. Anyone can do this. Since my husband has been on the other side. I have chosen to stay single, unmarried, but I have the most delicious romances. I mean, long-term, um, just beautiful relationships. I mean, just wonderful and loving and, and 
Yeah. Yeah. And 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 it just literally shows shows through you. Um and Malik says, Great advice on manifesting, thank you. Mm. Um and Mary Tilling says, loving this. So what I think, okay, um what we should yeah. do is why don't you um do the code for me? And okay. while we're doing that, Mary and Malik, as you've both been really um interactive be loved if you're happy to do 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 the same for them as well that sounds great yeah what what do you need so what i'm going to do is angel an angel code for you and let me tell you just a little bit about angel codes and what they are yeah these are a new way of working with numeric vibration with angel energy ariel brought this to me in the summer of 2019 and we put it out for the first time in 2020 the codes go from zero to 12 and every code is a gateway to a higher realm another dimension and another vibration each code has a message from archangel ariel it has um, an activation code which is an affirmation and it's very very cool so yes so what i need from you darling is your month and day of your birth Okay, so my month is the 9th, so that's September. Okay. And the day is the 1st. Is the 1st, okay. So Malik and Mary, if you're happy to put those um, in the comments publicly, then please do that. Oh, so I know what this is, but I will read it to you. You, this year for you in 2022, and I do it from birthday to birthday, solar return to solar return, but this year for you is angel code seven, which activates the gateway to the divine collective. This is so exciting. Hold on just a moment and I will give you... I will give you Ariel's message directly. I'll read it to you. And then, okay, so it is the, um, again, it, it's um, the, the gateway to the divine collective and it activates the energetic signature of the collective consciousness. So it's all about, um, the angels reminding you that you are divine energy, which you know, and understanding that as such, when you can um, connect to the collective consciousness, understanding that you, and your words, your thoughts, and your actions impact the whole of life. I mean, they impact everything, 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 everything including the weather. So this one is really, really important. Ariel's message for this is, Dear one, we invite you to awaken to the knowledge that all are one. There is a collective. There is no separation you are part of the whole what you do what you say and what you think affects the whole of life not just beings who breathe but the mountains the seas the waters the weather all are a reflection of the angelic energetic signature sent forth. Do you believe the words you speak 
are just words? Or do you understand the power they hold? You are a powerful creator. Once you breathe life into your words by speaking them aloud, you have set a powerful invocation. You have released the energetic signature of these words into the universe and the energy will build as it gathers more energy that is in vibrational coherence with its energetic signatures. Dear one, by the words you speak, you can create peace, love, kindness, and happiness in the collective. Or you can create war, destruction, disease, and divisiveness. What you create affects the whole of humanity. Keep your thoughts uplifted. Treat others with respect. Care for your planet. Understand all are one and you affect the whole. Now that you hold this understanding, we know that you will create from your divine soul heart. Beautiful one, also remember that as part of the whole, Understand that all are one and you affect the whole. Now the affirmation that activates this code is I am part of the divine collective. I choose thoughts, words, and actions that bring love, peace, and kindness into the world. I am part of the divine collective. Thank you so much. And, yes. you know, I, I have, and I have sort of like been very much aware of when my thoughts and my words recently anyway. Um, so it's, it's kind of like so much confirmation about what I've been, what I say, what I think, you know, for the last couple of years, I've kind of like been trying to turn it on its head. So that's, that's absolutely beautiful. So thank you so, so Isn't much that, for that. And, you know, I really have to be so grateful to Dr. Emoto. Dr. Emoto, if some of you don't know, um, is the gentleman who did messages in water. He showed us that our thoughts are real. He wrote um, words and then put them in water. Well, they, he put the water on the words. And the words that were wonderful, like love and peace and harmony, he froze them. And the ice crystals were, oh, they were so gorgeous. They were like complete mandalas. They were beautiful. But then they used words that were discordant, words like hate and anger and war. And when they froze those ice crystals, they were not harmonious. They were discordant. The designs were not complete. So he showed us that our thoughts were real. And when I think of things like the divine collective, think of what's gone on on planet over the last two years and what's been going on in the collective, in the collective, right? We've been locked down, we've been shut down, we need vaccinations, there's this, there's that. So that's magnified. Yeah. So I believe we can do a lot to shift that by keeping our thoughts, our words and our actions as blessings. You know? So thank you for letting me do that for you. This is such joy for me. Oh, my God, I love it. I love well, it. I love it. Well, Malik um, has said that um, their date of birth is May, so that's far, the fifth month. Yeah. Um, and the 26th day. Perfect. So let's see what this year is for you.
Ah, angel code 10, which is, oh, it's so much light. It is um, the gateway to the universal light star. This is so cool because this is activating your light that is unifying your physical body temple with your light body, with the divine light of the universe and with all benevolent light beings. So in this light code, the angels are reminding you that you are a divine light being and you're living in a physical human body and they're connecting you. They're connecting everything for you this year. Archangel Ariel's message for you is, dear one, angel code 10 brings light from the universe into your physical body. Light holds the divine spark. Light is energy. Energy of the universe is pouring forth through your physical body temple, bringing spirit into matter, illuminating you with divine grace. So share your light, shine bright for all to see, resonate love and grace, be the way shower, become a beacon holding the lamp of the divine light for all to follow. Oh, Malik, that yeah. is absolutely brilliant. I've, isn't that lovely? The other thing about light is light holds codes the same way that water does. So just be open. Your your affirmation, your your um, your code activation affirmation is. I am a being of divine light. As I shine my divine light from the universal light star, I radiate love and grace. I become a beacon holding the lamp of the divine, the light for all to follow. I am a being of divine light. So thank you. Thank you. I leave that with you with blessings. Okay. And we did also say Mary. So Mary is March, so third month, and she's the seventh. Yeah. The seventh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, you've got one coming up. You are also this year having um, vibrating to angel code seven, just like Ray. So I'll give that to you again. It's um, the gateway to the divine collective and it's activating your connection to the collective consciousness. It's um, the angels are reminding you that you are a being of divine energy and that you are part of the divine collective. Your thoughts, your words, and your actions affect the whole of life, even the weather. And Archangel Ariel's message for that is, dear one, we invite you to awaken to the knowledge that all are one. There is a collective, no separation. You are part of the whole. What you do, what you say, and what you think affects the whole of life, not just beings who breathe, but the mountains, the seas, the waters, the weather. All are a reflection of the energetic signature sent forth. 
Do you believe the words you speak are just words? Or do you understand the power they hold? You are a powerful creator. Once you breathe life into your words by speaking them aloud, you have set a powerful invocation. You have released the energetic signature of those words into the universe. And the energy will build as it gathers more energy that is in vibrational coherence with its energetic signatures. Dear one, by the words you speak, you can create peace, love, kindness, and happiness in the collective. Or you can create war, destruction, disease, and divisiveness. What you create affects the whole of humanity. Keep your thoughts uplifted. Treat others with respect. Care for your planet. Understand all are one and you affect the whole. Now that you hold this understanding, we know you will create from your divine soul heart. And your activation code is, I am a part of the divine collective. I choose thoughts, words, and actions that bring love peace and kindness into the world. I am part of the divine collective. Blessings to you. So, so Mary, both you and I have really got to be careful what we say and think. <laughs> and that's, that's, yes. that's two of us. And I'm gonna gonna actually sneak somebody else in and I'm gonna sneak Graham in because obviously we need some masculine energy in here oh sure and also graham um, lives in florida as well so he's um he is july the 7th so he's 7 7. he is 7 7. yes and you are activating the two, which doesn't happen very often. And the two is the gateway to the sacred womb. It activates um, the creation of physical form through the sacred union of divine male and divine female. This is an angel code of harmony and creation. Now, this code is one of three duo codes. And each of these duo codes holds an overlighting code beyond the physical realm, bringing those higher frequencies into your field and physical body temple. Angel code two which is the gateway to the sacred womb, holds the overlighting energetic signature of angel code 11, which is gateway to the galaxies. So this is an angel code of creation. It's creating form through the sacred union of divine male and divine female, and it's bringing to life new creations. The angels are inviting you to expand your consciousness, surrender your limitations, and journey beyond time and space as you bring your creations, ideas, and inspirations into form. And Ariel's message is, Dear One, the energetic signature of this angel code merges divine male and divine female to bring forth creation. And where does creation originate? In the overlighting energetic signature of 11, the gateway to the galaxies, the galactic portal beyond time and space. Dear one, you are a divine being created from the flame of the divine. Know that you have the power 
to create without limits. Create your life with passion and joy. And your, um, your code activate, activation is, I am a master creator. As I move beyond limitations of time and space, I bring my dreams, ideas, and inspirations into form, creating my most joyful and abundant life. I am a master creator. Beautiful. So. That's, that's so lovely. Thank you so, so much for... Thank for, you and so many blessings. For, for, so for, doing, many blessings. for doing that. So as you've kindly um, worked for us, I'm now going to, as you know, I normally do, um, I ask my guests, they like guide meditation to angel card readings, but I think you you deserve an angel card reading. Um, so so, so I'm, go I'm going to do a, a reading for you and then I'm going to do a reading, a general reading for everybody. So we'll see what card. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, thank you. So what does Beloved need to know for her highest good at this moment in time? Okay, so you actually got two cards that decided they were going to come out. <laughs> okay. Which, which, which are actually really quite perfectly. Travelling lightly, simplify your life. I love it. And transformation a fresh new way of living emerges oh my goodness uh, isn't that just beautiful i mean i love i love phoenix six phoenixes is oh any, any anyway so i, I think they're really quite self-explanatory really with, <laughs> with 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 the way with the way they've come come out and they're literally confirmation of everything you're actually doing you know how you how you simplify your life to have all that joy and abundance and fun in it but but you transform and you bring all this new energy and manifestation and everything just come just comes into it it's Oh, my, it's it's just so it's just so beautiful that, that you do all this work and you actually actually bring it and this is confirmation from the you know from the angelic world saying keep going you are doing so brilliantly thank you so much oh, it's so it's so you. so beautiful mm -hmm. um yeah, and Malik says beautiful cards, and um, that oh. the most perfect message for. There couldn't have been a better message for you. I don't. <laughs> I really don't think there there oh. could have been. So as we've done that um, for beloved, I'll now do a general reading just for all you watching to see what you all need to know for your highest good at this moment in time. So what does everyone who's watching this need to know for there? Oh, okay. Oh, perfect. The card that flipped out is exactly the same. Transformation. A fresh new way of living emerges. So everyone that's, you know, that's, that's watching this, you know, there is transformation going on at the moment. You know, there are, there's a new way of living that is coming in and you need to embrace it. You know, listen to your angels, to your guides, mm -hmm. to the like, to the to the angel codes that have been that have been given. Find your angel codes if you don't know them, but transform. Allow that transformation to happen because when you you create and you transform yourselves, you transform everything else. Um, it, you know, it has that it has that ripple of ripple effect. Um, mm -hmm. So you know, there's so much transformation um that, that that's that's going on and it's absolutely brilliant that it's all coming with the energy of today's show so thank you so much for for um for that, that that's absolutely brilliant oh my goodness thank you thank you so much and thank you to everyone out there and ah uh, this has been so fun. Oh, it's, it's been absolutely brilliant. So um, do you have any insights or thoughts to leave our viewers? 
Oh, Ariel does. Cool. Good day. We are here with you, the Ancha, who's called Aria. We come to you through the little one here, whom you know as Beloved. And we have been watching and listening as um, these two lovelies have been speaking. We step in just to remind you that you are a beautiful, magnificent, divine being. And whether you are seeing this now or at another time, it matters not. We invite you to open yourself to the whole of your being. We invite you to open yourself to the beauty and the magnificence of who you are. It is time upon your planet for you, for you to live from your soul, to live from your heart. If you will do this each and every day, as little one said earlier, inviting you when you awaken to reconnect consciously, then we would also like to invite you to do that. For it matters not what you call the divine, it matters not what path you follow, but if you will consciously create your day from the very beginning and call in your angels, call in your guides, your teachers, and go about your day consciously creating and not just going through the motions, but really being aware, using your heart as your guide, your infinite knowing. We call this your inner guidance system, your IGS. We invite you to go through your day this way. Check in with yourself. Become aware. It is through your awareness that you can live consciously. And it is through living consciously that you can create the life that you came here to live. A life of joy, of love, of vibrant health, of happiness, of material well-being. We leave that with you now with love and blessings. We are complete and transmission. Wow, thank you, Archangel Ariel, for coming through. I literally got goosebumps um, uh, uh, when, when she came through. So thank you so much. Oh, you are so welcome. And oh. again, thank you, thank you, thank you. And just... <laughs> I just want to send you and everyone so much love and, and abundant angel moon alchemy manifesting blessings. Thank you so, so much. Uh, Mary you. says, thank you, beautiful. Um, Malik says, wow, so amazing. Thank you, Archangel Ariel. Mm -hmm. um, it's it, it was it was beautiful um that she, wow. that she decided to come through and uh and and, and give us a, a message so <laughs> i hope i hope everyone that you have enjoyed this conversation and found it insightful because i know i definitely have and it's been an absolutely brilliant show so beloved if people want to connect with you how do they do that they can um find me on oh go to my website kate beloved.com excellent and what i will do is i will put um, in the comments of the post after okay. the show i'll put a direct link so people can go straight there um that's, and that's perfect my contact information should be up there i'm on facebook ig i've got a um youtube channel uh yeah oh yeah i have a youtube channel and and i have a a group on, on Mighty Networks. 
So, um, yeah, I'm around. I'm just coming back in. <laughs> cool. I, I will definitely, I will definitely post that link there. Okay. And Sue says, beautiful show. Teresa says, thank you. Have a wonderful day. And thank you again. Um, Graham thank says, you. Uh, thank you all for such an awesome show. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's been that sort of minute. So, so thank you. Um, and of course, you know, if you have reached a crossroads in your life and you need some guidance in finding the meaning of your life and getting clear on your path, then I'd love to be that guide for you. So please feel free to reach out and connect with me so we can arrange a free 20, 30 minute video call um, to help you gain clarity on where you're going and how you can empower yourself to take charge of your destiny. And beloved mentioned, kind of like mentioned Glastonbury there, and I am running retreat down in Glastonbury in June. So um, if you're interested, um, you're in the UK and you're interested, then please do um, check it out. And of course, you know, if you want a free future life progression recording where I take you into a future lifetime to get guidance and clarity that you can use in your current life, um, as well as a couple of other free gifts, then sign up to my newsletter. So again, thank you everyone so much for watching. And I'd like to invite you to share this video as I'm sure there are more women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny just like you and need to hear the words of wisdom and the messages that have come from Beloved today. And of course, if you are watching this on YouTube, then please feel free to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified when the show goes live or I post new guide meditations. And of course, if you're subscribing to my channel, then you might as well subscribe to be loved as well. Every little, every little subscriber helps <laughs> us on, on, on our journey. Um, and Graham says, oh, no tickets from Florida then, Ray. No, Graham, I'm sorry. I'm not paying for you to come to Glastonbury. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, everyone will want me to pay for them to come to Glastonbury. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, again, thank you, everyone, so much. And thank you, beloved. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Archangel Ariel. It was so wonderful of you to come and uh, join us and bring your message thank today. You. So thank you so much for that. And I look forward to seeing you, um, of you all joining me, same time, same place, next week. Take care and goodbye. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.